Okay, my friend Roger Mutfaus University, today I am going to start by showing you the evidence and then we will go back to see how we created the facts that I am going to show you. What am I showing you? Well, right there was a neutrino shower. Oh, neutrino showers? Nobody's ever seen a neutrino. Well, we've seen a ton of them. Let's go see about them. We got electron neutrinos coming out of our ears. Here's an electron neutrino. That was that little white particle I showed if I did yet, but I will. And it smashes into what I called like a solid barrier of electrons. And then you get the electron shower of these fields. The electron neutrino creates the electron shower. This is the heavy duty stuff that CERN's working with. The bigger stuff. They're, I think they're like 100,000 times bigger than these particles. So they don't create the showers. All right, here it is right here. They create the same patterns. That's what the CERN is finding, exactly the same patterns. But look at this. The mass of an electron neutrino is different than the muon neutrino, which is CERN stuff. We're using electrons. Only light, so they're electrons. The mass of an electron is less than 2.2 electron volts. Look at this. The mass of a muon neutrino is less than 170,000 electron volts. So it's like... 90, 80,000 times bigger than the ones that we're working with. And here's what they get from CERN. And they can't, they're never going to find anything in there because it's 180,000 times bigger. And we're looking, working with the tiniest little particles beginning with that. You see that? That's what CERN's working with. They have 180,000, 500,000 times as big. They got just a bunch of garbage everywhere. So then they got to pick through it and see what they can find. And then because they got so much garbage that they can find so many things, they, they just get lost. We started with light. All right, this is the world I live in. I live in the electron world. Those are electrons. And you say, what do you mean electrons? That's light. It's a laser light. And inside that laser light is an electron. All right? That's what's coming through is that tiny little particle. And there's a ton of them, but they're coming in a straight, bzzz, straight through, and they create this interference of a huge ball around them because that is the magnetic field that they control. That's the sphere of influence. They come through there like a ball, like a baseball. But now we are accelerating the particle that is creating that wave. And we are accelerating it, and it is turning brilliant white, and it has got to get through this Venturi and force all of its neighbors to compress. All right? And when that happens, we find charge separation. Okay, what this is really about is fusion, and this is charge separation. You can see uh, at one point or, or another, I, I'm a little confused in this by now, but... The electron, I, I keep saying these things are shooting out electrons. Well, they're electrons and they glue together to make proton, photons. And then they glue together to make protons and neutrons and everything. And there is no such thing as a proton or a neutron. They're just globs of these little bitty particles like this that, are, that make up these things. And they realize this now. They, they say that a Bohr model is not correct and they have to start over. And here's where they have to start with everything being made from the tiniest particle, which I call an electron. It's back-to-back -back charges. And you can see them in the light pictures. And they separated. See the little black dots? Little, little black dots, pure, pure, pure white at the Venturi. But they started out as back-to-back. Uh, where are they? Um, uh, well, let's just take this one here. Okay. You see this? This is what they started out as. White, dark, white, dark. So they're back-to-back -back dipoles. And the greens look exactly the same. So I'm starting to think that... They, I, I, I really don't know at this point whether there's... exactly how these particles are arranged. Are the red ones just like two particles together and the greens are four and then the blues are six and then after that they turn into nuclear particles? I don't know. But I can tell you they have different energy. There's no question they have different energy potentials. We can see the red goes only a certain distance, the green goes for, and the blue goes way out. 
and they, they there's just no question that there is different energies to them however the characteristics that they display look virtually identical those um those four dots appear to be what light is which would be a back-to-back -back dipole so that's what we see now I'm going to go through this real quick. Lathamin's crazy toys or machines. And it's a tractor beam magnet. It's, it flooded the core with negatives. He, well, in other words, the core has to have additional negatives than the positive. Then another negative once again, and, and it won't allow it. It says, I've got enough already. Stay out of here. Watch what happens. Boom. That is identical to quantum mechanics. And if it's moving around, it could just be sort of flowing. It's going to have to push into other guys and move them out of the way. So there's going to be a slight amount of energy. But if it slams into something, then you get a lot of energy. And if it really impacts with something, it'll knock it right out of its orbit. And that's called ionizing energy. And that means the electron escapes. See, right now we got heat. That's heat. Absolutely heat. It does that all day long. And what is it doing? Something's bouncing into it. Boom, 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 or it's bouncing into something. It's pushing those magnetic fields just like a balloon. Just like a balloon with a tiny particle in the center. Boop, 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 boop. And every time you do it, it squirts out energy. Right? And then eventually it will it will go away as light because watch how hard he pushes this thing. That thing really wants to, there it goes, that's for light. Right. Now, I don't like doing this, but I, I, I have done all of this stuff that I'm talking about, so I, I'm not guessing what I'm saying. And I calculated out all different heats and reactions and all this, and it always, always, always comes down to electricity. Heat is nothing more than electricity. Everything is electricity. There's no energy that is not electric in nature. It's pushed to shot. And and again, I I'm just gonna just I know I'm bragging here, but I can't help it. I gotta show you that I have some knowledge in this. And I did I did a lot of this stuff for a very long time. And and again, I can get I'll find in here somewhere that it's all related to energy. I mean, all related right to electricity. It's not. It's going to come out here. So, all right, here we go. Light energy. There you go. Particles. I mean, there's a lot to build up to that. I didn't just guess one day. Oh, guess what? It all, all is electricity. No, hell no. A lot of work in this, and I end up with light. It's all energy. Every single thing there is is electrons pushing and shoving. If they don't push and they don't shove, they are in, inactive. There's no energy there. It's when they bang into each other, there's energy. And guess what? Coming from the sun, there's all these little tiny electrons. They're getting thrown out of there. They just don't hit anything coming to us. They are called dark energy and dark matter. 